Okay, so we're here at uh, DEFCON 1 in London and Christoph is going to give us a quick demo of how Slockit works. Yeah, so here you see our app. In the app, you can search, for example, for different door locks by name or by QR code or by address. And we, for example, will just use the last, one of the last two slots. So let's choose the door lock, for example. What you see here now is there is a deficit in the price which can be set by the owner. For example, here there are 100 ether as a deficit and 10 ether per day as a price. Now we can choose to sign this contract by renting it. So I will now push the renting button. This sends now a theorem transaction to the network paying the deficit to the smart contract. So we need to wait now for one block to confirm it. So let's see. The the miner now needs to confirm my transaction. When this is done, then I am set as the current user in the blockchain, which the lock handler now and then later on looks up. Because we use the blockchain basically for user access control, to say who is allowed to open or close um, the lock. So this takes about 70 seconds on average, that's one block, to confirm this transaction. So let's wait a moment. This is a particularly long block. And now it's done. Okay, now the miners mine the block. What you see here now is an open and a close button. With this, we can send whisper messages, which are signed by our private key, and then the slot can just compare this what he finds on the blockchain to see if the public key matches. Let's now push the open button. What you can see here now, this is a lock. He receives now the whisper message, and now you can see how it opens. So, now the lock is open, I can use it, I can use this apartment. Let's say I use this for a couple of days, let's say two or three days, I can close the lock again, which is exactly the same thing as sending a whisper message. The whisper message gets confirmed if I'm the current user. Now you see it closing again. So if I now want to leave the apartment, let's say I have been there for two days, I push the return it button. This means I send a transaction to the Ethereum blockchain, so I can get back my deposit minus the cost, and the cost goes a payment to the current owner. So now we wait for one transaction, <laughs> one block again to confirm the transaction. When this is done, I am not set as the current user, I cannot control the lock anymore, but I got back my deposit minus the cost, and the owner has received his payment. And it's all completely out of on the blockchain, so it works completely without slog interfering in any way. So if this company would be gone, the slog would still work as usual, because it's all on the blockchain.